Welcome to the Press Box. I'm Ryan Thorburn, coming to you from Pac-12 Media Days in Los Angeles. Uh, the event is wrapped up. All of the teams have come and gone. Uh, Oregon was on the first day. Thursday, the Ducks are picked third in the north, uh, which is pretty fair and expected. They're coming off a 9-3, and 9-4 uh, and four season, actually. I forgot the Alamo Bowl there. Um, you know, they, they have a quarterback battle to be determined during fall camp between Dakota Prukop and Travis Johnson. A lot of questions on defense. Uh, they were pretty much last in most of the key categories in the Pac-12 last year. Brady Hoke's trying to put a, a new spin on that side of the ball. So, you know, basically the reaction from Mark Kelfridge and the player reps here, uh, Royce Freeman and, and John, Johnny Reagan, uh, linebacker, is a collective shrug of the shoulder pad. Oregon doesn't seem to care when they're picked to win the conference, and they certainly don't seem to care, at least outwardly, that they're picked behind Stanford and Washington in the North Division. Uh, I think they like the fact that they get to host both those teams at Autzen Stadium. Um, and it's going to be a tough division. Washington State's picked fourth. They beat Oregon last year. They have Luke Falk back at quarterback, and uh, Oregon goes there. Um, as you remember, Mike Leach's team, after that loss to Portland State last year, really came on strong, um, was a missed field goal away from beating Stanford. So I think it's a four-team race in the north. I think Oregon has as good a shot as anyone, and uh, certainly they were well represented here. Uh, Stanford had the star of the show, uh, Christian McCaffrey, the runner-up to the Heisman last year. Uh, I think that's you know the main reason why they're for the first time picked to win the conference. Uh, that would be a repeat for them. Uh, they also need to find a quarterback. That's kind of the theme here. Only one team, Colorado, brought a quarterback to this event, um, which speaks to, uh, you know, a lot of the power teams are searching for that key position. Uh, it's kind of the year of the running back with McCaffrey and Freeman. Um, that uh, bodes well for Oregon. I think certainly Oregon's skill players rank up there with anyone in the country. And, uh, you know, Royce could be in that Heisman mix with McCaffrey if the Ducks do well. Uh, when you look at the South, UCLA is picked to win it. Uh, Jim Mora said this is his best UCLA team, which is saying something. They've always had talent. They kind of faded toward the end last year. Um, but Josh Rosen is, you know, one of those rare starting quarterbacks, only a sophomore, that, that gives them... Uh, really a leg up as we enter fall camp. Same with Washington to a lesser degree with Jake Browning, another sophomore starter returning. So uh, I think Chris Peterson um, was really funny today just trying to play down all the hype the Huskies are getting. I mean, let's not forget they haven't beat Oregon in 12 years. And, and uh, until they do, you know, it's hard to say that they're fully back. But uh, they certainly have a really good defense and some nice pieces on offense. Um, as far as the the bottom of the barrel, um, you know, we talked to Oregon State today. They are the unanimous pick to finish last in the conference. 33 media members voted, and they only had 33 points, which means everybody voted them 12th, basically, last in the north. Uh, Gary Anderson has, you know, done a great job of building programs before at Utah State, and it's going to be tough, but, you know, there's some optimism now that, you know, he's kind of reshuffled his uh, staff. They have a new offensive coordinator, a new defensive coordinator, a new special teams guy. So, you know, I think Oregon State will be a surprise. I see them actually winning four or five games possibly. Uh, it'll be tough, but I, I think they're going to take, take a step forward. Same with Colorado in the south. Um, they had the quarterback, Sefo Lufau, uh, who represented their team here and, and represented it well. They have a lot of seniors now. They've taken a lot of lumps. They've lost a lot of close games. So certainly the parity that Larry Scott speaks of is there. Uh, the ultimate question for the conference is, can they produce a playoff team? It's going to be tough. I, th I see most teams losing um, at least two games, uh, including Oregon. So we'll have to see how it shakes out in the postseason. But it's only July, and that's the beauty of media days. It gets us to start talking about college football and we'll do that throughout the year here on the Press Box. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.